you are watching KSG News Explainer. In this video, we are going to talk about MRSAM being successfully test fired. This is for GS Paper 3 Defense Technology. The Army version of the next generation medium range surface to air missiles, that is MRSAMs, developed jointly with Israel to destroy hostile aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles and drones at a range of 70 kilometers was tested twice from the Chandipur Integrated Test Range of the Odisha Coast on 27th of March 2022. Now, what is this all about? The first launch was to intercept a medium altitude target at a long range and the second was to prove the capability against a low altitude target at a short range. The missiles intercepted the aerial targets and destroyed them completely registering direct hits at both the ranges. The Army's MRSAM system, which was tested in a deliverable configuration, includes multifunction radar, mobile launcher system and other vehicles. The weapon system's performance was validated through the flight data captured by range instruments like radars, electro-optical tracking systems and the telemetry deployed by ITR Chandipur. While the Navy and the IAF have begun inducting the MRSAMs, also called the Next Generation Barak 8 systems, the trials for the Army are currently underway. The three DRDO IAI projects were inked at an initial cost of over 30,000 crore rupees several years ago. Now, going into some background details, the flight tests of the MRSAM developed jointly by DRDO and Israel Aerospace Industries, that is IAI, were conducted as part of the live firing trials against high speed aerial trials. It is capable of engaging multiple targets at ranges up to 70 kilometers in severe saturation scenarios. The missile is powered by an indigenously developed rocket motor and control system for achieving high maneuverability during the terminal phase. That's it for this explainer. Thank you so much for watching. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksgender.com. You can also get a PDF of this explainer on ksgender.com. Thanks for watching.